hogs on the mile planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple What's strip. Everybody, so um, the whole Lamar Jackson situation, RG three, him and uh, Steve Young going back and forth. Um, obviously, I'm with RG three. Uh, I knew he said, you know, he talked to somebody that was inside. And when he said that, I was like, he talked to Lamar. Like, I believe him and Lamar relationship is like this. Uh, you know, with um, the Michael Vick, I think Lamar is like, I ain't, I ain't talking with you, dude, you know. And then I like the fact that he went on Rich Eisman's show and he had time. That's why I love Rich Eisman's show. That dude is cool. But he had more time without getting interrupted when he was speaking nothing but facts um, to explain what the situation is while Lamar wasn't on the sideline. So uh, if you haven't heard it, it's pretty long, so be ready. Here you go. What's top of mind for you? Uh, I'm going to, you know, instead of asking you a direct question, what what truly is it top of mind for you? It, it can be involving a playoff game or what happened this weekend or anything that's going on uh, with uh, with players that aren't playing or hitting free agency. What do you think is top of mind for you, Robert? Yeah, Rich, I think you know where my mind is at. and I think everybody saw it on, on Monday Night Countdown, and if they didn't, you know, it's just a conversation surrounding Lamar Jackson. Um, you know, I love everybody on our set. And, and when we have those conversations, we're not afraid to, to speak openly and speak freely. And when it comes to Lamar, there's just been a lot of negative narratives that are, that are being created about him uh, that aren't necessarily true. So I tried to clean that up uh, after talking with people inside the building and talking with Lamar. Um, you know, he didn't play in the game uh, in the playoffs and hasn't played down the stretch of the last part of the regular season because he was injured. You know, grade two PCL injury. And he didn't go to the game because he was sick. You know, he got examinated. Uh, they diagnosed him as being sick, didn't want him to travel with the team, so he didn't travel. Um, so it's not that he didn't want to be out there with his teammates. It's not that he wanted to be there to support them. Uh, he just physically couldn't in that moment. Uh, so I feel like a lot of these other things that are being said are really just trying to weaponize uh, the narrative against him and truly try to blow that relationship up between him and the Ravens. I'm not saying that it's, there aren't any difficulties there with the guaranteed money or or him wanting to you know, a new contract, but that had nothing to do with the reason that he didn't play. Well, I mean, and so when if you spoke to him, did did you ask him why he felt the need to tweet out his injury information? Because you you and I both know that is one of the most provocative things a player can do. Certainly, when a team feels whether it may be or not, I don't know. Uh, the team feels that they're that they've been there for him and trying to protect him and get him better, uh, Robert. Yeah, listen, listen no no coach lo loves loves it when players are putting out information that the team's not putting out. Right. Um, but you know, I, I've lived what Lamar is going through, so I, I can't speak for him in that regard. What I what I feel is that there was a lot of negativity going his way, and he just wanted to get it out there that. You know, hey, guys, I, I really am hurt. I'm really injured, and, and this is what's going on. Now, the team, uh, you know, they got HIPAA violations and, and guidelines that they got to go by that they can't put out injuries unless players actually want them to. So, in that situation, Lamar was the only one that could speak to it. He ultimately decided to speak to it, and I think that had, you know, might have had something to do with just a lot of the public backlash that uh, people, you know, saying that he wasn't playing because he wanted a new contract as opposed to him just not being physically able to perform well i mean and and for me robert it's it's not the sense that he's like you know i don't have a contract screw it you know I'm, to hell with you uh then if that was the case then then why did he play the first right two-thirds of the season exactly. right i mean but but it, it it is a sense of you know you didn't pay me so why would i brace it up why would i run the risk like that's that's the sense like you not not screw you just a little bit less um uh, enthusiastic about getting out there. You know what I'm saying, Robert? I mean, I'm, I'm, you tell me if I'm off. You spoke to him, and, and obviously you've lived it, but that's the sense. And that's where I, my spidey sense goes off that something's up between the two that, that is significant. Something's up. Right, Richard. 
Yeah, and Rich, you've been in this business for an extremely long time and done it at the highest level, right? You're only kind of keep keep climbing. I'm speaking that into existence for you. Thank you. So you understand that in TV, uh, we all all we're able to do at times is speculate and give an opinion. But if Lamar had a contract and he wasn't playing and he didn't play the last six games and he didn't play in the playoffs, no one would say anything to the contrary other than he's hurt. He's physically unable to go out there and play and be Lamar Jackson. It's not about him not wanting to play. So now when you take the contract and you put that in there, I'm not saying that people can't feel that he's not playing because of his contract situation. What I'm saying is that's not a fact. That's an opinion. The fact is he's not playing because he's hurt. And and that's where the whole conversation kind of went off the rails a little bit uh, on our show just because – Two things can't be true. He can't be not playing because he's hurt and also not playing because he doesn't have a new contract. It's one or the other. And I believe that he didn't play because he was injured. All right. Now, with all of that, people could calm down now. It's so much negative just like around Lamar. That's why I say he's like the LeBron of the NBA. It was so much negativity around LeBron, and he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong, just like Lamar. People, he should be on the sideline with the team and all that. Now you know why. Well, I've been sick before. I had to go to work. So you're going to be sick around other people on the sideline? No telling what type of sickness he has. But you you want him on the sideline still to get the other people sick, and we if we do happen to win, we're gonna have more players out because they were sick. See, it's it's always something. Why we just can't think positive? So Lamar was sick. Get that out the way. Even they said the team, and one thing too, they said he said the team decided that he should not come. So that that says right there, they was like, okay, we know you sick. We don't aren't sure what it is. It could be small. It could be little. I mean, I said it could be small. It could be little the same thing. It could be small or it could be big. So let's just play it safe. Stay where you're at. And one thing I can't stand about that is, Hobbs should have said that. You're a head coach. You know people are going to be questioning him about Lamar 24-7. You should be like, well, Lamar came up with something. That's why he wasn't here. Any more, any questions, just cut that out of the way. Because you know, and and he should, he should kill that speculation right off the bat. To me, that's what a good head coach would do. Before any questions were, before anything was answered, he should just went up on the stadium. If you have any questions about why Lamar wasn't here, he was sick. Any any questions about the game? Boom, just go from there. And don't throw Snoop under the bus, even though he did something stupid. Well, we don't know because the Greg Halls could be having Greg Roman's back, so we, we don't even know in that situation. But yeah, so. That's all I really want to say. I, I wasn't expecting this video to be long like this, but yeah, so yeah. Oh, and the Lamar, you know, um, pictures he put on Instagram, he just trolling. That's all, man. He just trolling, having fun with it. He's gonna be a raven though. <laughs>